All right, guys. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. So I'm going to give you the warning. If you guys haven't seen the movie, we're going to talk about spoilers. We're going to talk about things that happen in the movie. So be warned. This is your warning. The spoiler starts in three, two, one. All right, I actually took down some notes. So let's start off with this, right? The movie was great. The movie was awesome. It was epic. Um, rated R, it was bloody. Um, it was crazy. It was like the action, the fighting action was really good. I enjoyed the fighting parts really good. Something that I enjoyed a lot were the cameos. The cameos were probably my favorite part of the whole movie. Before that, he had um, gone to the Marvel Universe to apply to be an Avenger. And he had an interview with Happy and pretty much Happy turned him down, but it was good to see Happy. During the multiverse crossing with the different Wolverines, we got two surprises, uh, starting with the Hulk. We see very quick Deadpool jumping into one of the one of the universes and Wolverine's wearing a comic accurate costume. And right before anything happens, you see the Hulk behind him. Well, Deadpool was like, oh, didn't you fight the Hulk with that costume? And then you see the Hulk and he starts yelling and Deadpool gets knocked off. So that's all. We see the Hulk very quick. And then we see other variations of Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. So we see Henry Cavill as Wolverine. And that was a surprise to me because uh, I follow like a lot of like the Marvel and the movies and things like that. Like, so I know certain rumors and certain things that you know marvel is trying to do so i you know we've been hearing that henry cavill is meeting with marvel and nobody knows for what but i guess this might be this might be mean something i don't know so eventually deadpool finds his wolverine and he takes him back to the tva and he's like hey i can bring this guy back to my timeline and you know everything's done then Mr. Paradox was like, no, that's not how it works. And pretty much they put both of them in the void. So like in the trailers, we see Pyro, Toad, and Sabretooth. Obviously, the, the Wolverine and Sabretooth fight was in the trailer. So everybody saw like that. And just like it, the trailer was fast, so was the fight. You know, Wolverine cut his head off and it was, it was over. But before that, we get Chris Evans. Chris Evans shows up and he does a superhero landing. And I was like, yo, I was actually really happy just to see Chris Evans back in the MCU. So that was really cool to see. Um, so he does a superhero landing. He's wearing like a, you know, something over him, covering his body. So you really don't know what he's wearing, but he's talking all like, you know, like Captain America. Like he's talking all heroic and stuff. And Deadpool's excited because it's like, yeah, cat, blah, blah, blah. And then Chris Evans turns around and he's like, all right, they're coming. Oh, yeah. It, so it was before Sabretooth and all of them came. He's like, oh, I'll, I'll stop them. And then he turns around. The camera pans to him. And Deadpool's like, oh, my God, he's going to say Avengers Assemble, which I thought he was, too. I thought he was going to say Avengers Assemble. But Chris Evans said flame on. And phew, he flew up. I totally forgot that he was a human torch for a minute. Uh, and that was actually really nice to see. I was genuinely surprised by that because I had... No idea. I didn't see any rumors about that. I didn't know anything about that. And, you know, my wife was next to me. And when he said flame on, I was like, oh. my wife was like, did you know that? Did you know that? I was like, no, I didn't know that. So that was really cool. But Pyro, when Pyro arrives, he took all his fire and made him weak and whatever. He ends up dying anyways, right? So whatever. They go back to Cassandra Nova's, uh, was it Ant-Man, you know, dead Ant-Man skeleton and whatever uh wolverine and deadpool they fight they somehow escape they find a variant of deadpool right and then he was able to give them a minivan so wolverine and dead and deadpool they drive off and they end up fighting and they fight so much that they get tired and then somebody finds them and brings them back to you know a safe place uh and obviously in the, in the trailers we see that x23 is back uh, that the little girl from Logan. So she 
pretty much it was her that brought them back but what we didn't know was the surprise that we were gonna get what comes up next was really exciting because we see Elektra from Daredevil uh, Fox's Daredevil was well, going to come out 2000 whatever so she comes walking down and then we see Blade when I saw Blade I lost it I was like yo I haven't seen that guy in oof, years and you almost forget that Blade was part of a Marvel and it was actually really nice to see him return I thought we would never see him we see Channing Tatum as Gambit and Channing Tatum was supposed to play Gambit for a long time in the Fox X-Men universe, but I don't know what happened exactly and that kind of didn't go through. So it was nice to see him too, finally uh, play that role. And then obviously uh, X-23 came out, but that's that was like the big spoiler. Uh, that's pretty much all my video is about is uh, all the, the cameos. That's the word I was looking for. I'm like, I was like losing the word, but yeah, the, I pretty much wanted to talk about the cameos because that was pretty much my favorite part of the movie. Oh yeah, so there was two. I mean, there's one post credit, um, but during like the, the credits, it was showing, like I said, uh, all the different characters that have played under Fox, like a tribute. It was like a tribute. The last post credit was just uh, Deadpool saying, "You see, Chris Evans, the Human Torch, did say all that stuff." Deadpool said that the Human Torch said all this stuff about Cassandra Nova. And Chris Evans' character was like, no, I didn't say that, blah, blah. And then Cassandra Nova killed him. So that was like the whole. But the last thing I have written down is uh, the mask. Wolverine's mask. That was my other favorite part when, you know, they, they're they about to fight all the Deadpools. And you see Wolverine go like this. Well, you see Wolverine put his hands up. And I thought he was going to go like this. But then he goes like all the way back here. And I'm like, what is he going? He's not going to go like this. He, he never does that. So when he goes like all the way back there and I see him put the mask on, I was like, yo, I was excited. Uh, throughout the movie, I have forgotten all about the mask. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I asked a few other people and they enjoyed it a lot too. They liked it a lot. Um, it was definitely something for the fans. It was something for us just to give us something, you know, that we, we've been wanting for a while because, you know, to be honest, the last few movies and the last few shows that have come out, you know, haven't been hidden. And, you know, they're all right, but it was like, mm. it definitely feels like Marvel is coming back. Marvel is back. Um, I saw a little, like, leak. I saw, uh, I saw a trailer of the Fantastic Four. And that looks really exciting. Uh, it's going to take place in, uh, what was it, like 60s, 70s, but like a futuristic uh, 60s, 70s. Uh, I'm excited to see that and they show a glimpse of Galactus um, So obviously that's gonna be the main villain for the Fantastic Four we got Dr. Doom we got We got some good stuff coming up and I think Deadpool and Wolverine was just the beginning and definitely Marvel is back Marvel is back and I can't wait to see what they do these next few years because i think the next two avenger movies comes out in 2026 and 27 uh nah but i hope you guys enjoyed the movie let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part other than that i i got nothing else for you guys i got nothing else more to say really enjoyed the movie can't wait to buy it and watch it again on that note don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace